Welcome to What Do You Think Book One? Thirty controversial issues today for very advanced classes. Written by LIS Korea editorial staff and copy edited by Dwayne Voorhees. This is Teacher Karen, and this video is brought to you by Camglish.com. This is the continuation of our topic, Issue 21, Deathbed Confessions on page 89. And now we are going to answer what do you think. Again, I will need your own opinions, but I will also give you sample. Okay, let's start in number one. Would you confess any affairs to your spouse? If you were dying, here's an opinion sample for number one. Such confessions, even made in good health, may be therapeutic for the confessor, but they seldom help the one who has to listen. Confessions of marital infidelity are ill-advised and are neither wise nor productive. The people who want to clear their conscience should tell their clergyman, not their loved one. Let's go now to question number two. Could you forgive your spouse at the deathbed if you heard about an affair? Here's an opinion sample for number two. Dying people tend to be honest and they usually confess what they feel guilty about. The survivors should respect their last wish to be honest and let them confess anything which has been bothering them. And the last two questions here, I won't give you any opinion samples for this, so you have to answer it on your own. Number three, dying people may get some therapeutic effects by confessing some secret episodes but the survivors are often hurt. Which effect is more important? And the last question here, talk about why people should be honest if they are dying. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, if you're going to ask me about this, you know, I really hate infidelity. But in this case, you know, we still have to forgive because they are dying. And uh, let's just talk about some vocabulary words in here. We have therapeutic, which means pertaining to the treating or curing of disease. And we have marital infidelity, means marital disloyalty or adultery or having an affair with another woman or another man. And number 28, we have ill-advised, done without due, due consideration or imprudent. All right. Okay, before we finish uh, the video, let's just read this one. She doesn't have the figure for a bikini, just the nerve. <laughs> what does it mean? What do you think, guys? Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you've learned so much today. Uh... That's all. Okay, goodbye. Have a nice day.